Is the 200MP camera on the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra enough for it to be the best smartphone of the year in 2023? Well, not entirely. The S23 Ultra is anticipated to include sensor stabilization, similar to what the iPhone has, to prevent blurry photos and videos from being taken when the camera shakes. So in light of this, join us as we discuss these and more about the S23 Ultra. The 200MP when Samsung finally unveils the Galaxy S23 Ultra, its top smartphone, it will include a massive main camera sensor with a resolution of 200 megapixels. According to Leaker Ice Universe's tweet, the 200MP of Samsung S23 Ultra is too strong. It has unparalleled analytical power. It is stronger than all the 200MP I have seen before. The other camera sensors on the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra which we hope to carry over to the S23 Ultra, have been lauded for their 3X and 10X optical zoom capabilities. But because of enhanced color reproduction and AI algorithms, the photographs captured by these cameras will be of far higher quality. There are more upcoming upgrades, like an improved fingerprint, so stay tuned for that. The 200 megapixel sensor is said to be particularly effective in low light settings, making it ideal for both video and still photography. Again, per Ice Universe, it can be confirmed that S23 Ultra's night photos are very strong and much better than S22 Ultra's. I think it's the biggest improvement of Samsung's flagship mobile phone in five years. Fans of Samsung will be pleased to learn that the next high-end gadget will also include a superior telephoto lens. Very little has been reported about new video capabilities, but we fully expect Samsung to match some of the innovations made by its rivals. Also, it's much too early to make any definitive assessments on the image quality. If you want to be among the first to see our hands-on video when it's finally released, subscribe today. Ultra Stabilization Samsung has filed a patent for a camera with sensor shift stabilization that might be used in future smartphones. Hand tramers may result in grainy photos, but a technique called sensor shift stabilization can assist. Awesome! Optical image stabilization is now used by Samsung, whereby the lens unit floats or travels about. In contrast, Apple has adopted sensor shift stabilization, in which the sensor itself shifts to compensate for vibrations. More room is needed for the sensor shift technology, which is why the camera hump on newer iPhones is so noticeably bigger. However, the newly revealed renderings of the Galaxy S23 Ultra depict camera modules that don't seem to be any bigger than the sensors used by the S22 Ultra. Although no rumor has specifically claimed that the next Ultra would have the sensor shift stabilization technology up to this point, the S23 series is still months away, so we are crossing our fingers. The benefit of having this function is that it will steady your images and videos and eliminate the odd hand tremble that might lead to blurry pictures. So, for example, if you are shooting in the wind or from a moving or vibrating platform, like a moving car, a rumbling bridge, or a shaking ground, the hyperstabilization will be helpful since it will lessen the blur. Better Fingerprint Third-generation Qualcomm ultrasonic fingerprint reader will be included in the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. For comparison, the 3D Sonic Gen 2 scanner found in the Galaxy S21 Ultra and Galaxy S22 Ultra has a 20mm x 30mm surface area, making the Qualcomm 3D Sonic Max almost 10 times bigger. In the present moment, domestically produced smartphones that have Qualcomm 3D Sonic Max include the iQ09 Pro and the Vivo X80 Pro. Two fingers may be used at once, making it more secure than 3D Sonic Gen 2, and it's five times as precise. As if that weren't enough, it also allows for streamlined fingerprint enrollment with a single tap. Whatever the case may be, we don't believe we're too far off from seeing this technology, and we'll let you know when to expect it. Battery Battery life on the Galaxy S23 Ultra will be exceptional with its 5000 mAh capacity. Considering the Galaxy S21 Ultra and the Galaxy S22 Ultra both have the same battery capacity, this is not hard to accept. There is, however, one purported photo of the Galaxy S23 Ultra's battery. The battery image was sourced from Weibo. 
The picture seems to have come straight from a certification database, providing additional evidence that Samsung is on schedule to release its Galaxy S23 line of smartphones. Not bad. The Galaxy S23 Ultra would be compatible with 25 Dewey Charging 2. Release date and price. No information on pricing has been made public. We think Samsung will release the phone around the beginning of February 2023 at a cost that is comparable to the Galaxy S22 Ultra, so we can probably expect an initial retail price of about $1,249. Better start saving if you want this device. To sum up, the S23 Ultra is going to be a really outstanding piece of hardware, and the upgraded chipset inside of it will allow it to outperform its predecessor in almost every measurable way. In order to fully grasp what we are talking about, watch our next video.